Assalamualaikum children. How are you today? Uh, so I have found this one letter to read you today from this enchanting book that I have been reading from for you. Um, and uh, maybe uh, from tomorrow we'll take a break from this book and I will uh, read out stories to you. But for now, for today, uh, there is this letter which is uh, a bit long. So I thought I'll just read one today. And it's written by Maria Hadessa Ekere Tali. Okay. And, uh, you know, she has performed poetry and taught in the United States, in Namibia, the Netherlands, in Belgium, and in England. And her work is the subject of the film, I Leave My Colors Everywhere. And Ekere is the mother of three beautiful daughters. Okay. Now, uh, she says, Dear Future and Present. So she's talking to you children and she is saying those who will come in the future as well as those who are here right now. So she says we have some strange sayings in the English language hmm? and you would agree with that, right? I've spent some time reading quotes, proverbs and aphorisms from people all over the world. The sayings can deliver powerful life lessons in beautiful language. Like this one, which is my favorite. If we stand tall, it's because we stand on the shoulders of our ancestors. Hmm? Um, Dadi Dada, Nani Nana, Unke, uh, Unse Pehle, uh, ki jo sari hamari nasle hai. We stand on their shoulders. Now that's a West African proverb. No one knows its exact origin, uh, but sayings tell a great deal about what a people hold dear. I tend to think this saying would never gain popularity in the US or anywhere in the Western world without a massive cultural shift. Think about it. The myth of the all-powerful individual who succeeds on sheer will alone is so prevalent here, uh, meaning in the West, uh, that, um, where did it go? Uh, uh, um. Yes, uh, that the idea that people you've never seen could be responsible for your good fortune would seem ridiculous. I'll read it again. The myth of the all-powerful individual who succeeds on sheer will alone is so prevalent here that the idea that people you've never seen could be responsible for your good fortune would seem ridiculous. But in some places, it's normal for ancestors to be celebrated. And there, it wouldn't be a stretch to imagine that those long gone people on the other side might be rooting for you to succeed here on this side. One of the oddest American sayings is, curiosity killed, a cat, killed the cat. What does it mean when a culture says this? It means stay in your place, keep your head down, don't ask questions, stick with what you know. If it's different, leave it alone. It means don't cross the border, don't color outside the lines, stay put because wherever your curiosity takes you could be dangerous. Here to the rescue come books with their covers and pages beckoning, calling. Hmm? Bring your curiosity. It's welcome here, meaning it's welcome um, in the books. You have to be curious. Books show us people who pray another way, speak a language we haven't heard before, wear clothing and hairstyles we've never imagined, eat food we don't see in our supermarkets and books show us all we have in common surrounding us with community we didn't know we needed. Showing us there is no other. 
books let us know we are not the center of the universe. The universe has many centers. That's so well said, isn't it? Hmm? I looked up curiosity. It means a desire to know and learn. Inquisitive. An old meaning is accomplished with skill or ingenuity. For my ancestors in this country, a desire to know and learn often meant punishment or even death. Maybe curiosity did kill the cat, but the spirit of who I am and who we are has never died. In fact, it can, it's contained in something my mother says. If someone tells her curiosity killed the cat, she responds, satisfaction brought him back. If my ancestors weren't curious in the oldest sense of the word, I certainly wouldn't be here. So my advice to you is the same I give my daughters. Keep asking questions. Color outside the lines. Draw your own pictures. Draw your own maps. Create your own legends. I wish you enjoy, uh, I wish you joy on your quest. Isn't that beautifully said that sometimes these old uh, proverbs, um, which everybody, uh, you know, uh, uses, they may be quite meaningless too, you know, and uh, one has to look beyond and one has to find one's own meaning in life, right? So, we'll end it here today and I will see you tomorrow with uh, maybe one of my own stories or maybe someone else's, but uh, do keep watching. Khuda Hafiz.